Okay, and welcome back, guys. So, if you haven't subscribed, please stop subscribe. That will encourage me to create more content. So, something really annoying happened after recording most of the tutorial for the eye, for elite corrections on the eye, on the heart, and some other parts. I my recording kind of crashed, so I'm kind of redoing this again for you guys to see. So, I might not be hitting render just to visualize what I'm doing. So, I'm not going to show you guys all the settings I kind of laid out for this. So let's get started. So for the, I said, let me start from the outer eye, which is the cornea. So the correction I made for this was to change the IOR from glass to cornea. Because the cornea is still the same outer eye, so just change that to cornea. It should be good. The menu screws, I just changed the IOR to water instead. Okay. Then the inner eye, I make sure, initially, initially the width was around here, so just drag the width all the way up. Okay, drag it all the way up. Then on the eye part sheet for the inner eye, so the little I brought in was to bring in an AI color correct node. I also in the previous lesson I had this I had this color out color plugged to the subsurface color. So I I removed that. So if I select this now, I move that. So let's on the subsurface cartridge, I kind of to take this down all the way down. I didn't want it to be having subsurface cartridge anymore. I didn't, need, I didn't need it anymore because I didn't like the results. Secondly, on the AI normal map, I turned down the strength to 1.3. You can also leave it at one if you want to, whichever one works for you. Then I created an AI color correct node to the color map. So let me just do this again. It is setting hard in there, but let me just let's just do this again. I'll delete this so AI color correct AI color correct so out color to inputs out color to base color select this saturation I use 1.3 for the saturation brightness I use 1.1.2 yeah, and that's basically it. Nothing else. Then I started shading the hearts. So this one wasn't really a serious thing to do. So AI standard. Name this to AI hearts. Okay. So I've increased the weight all the way up. Then let's go to the hyper sheet for this. So AI as graph network. So let's just keep plugging the let's plug the textures in there. So as because I've already plugged them already, that's why we have this TX5 associated associated with them. But let me just bring this in again. So color open normal map and roughness map. Let's drag and drop this in here. Okay. Uh, all right. So bring this a bit closer. I'm just going to be as fast as I can with this. So there's nothing much happening in here. So I just drag the arrow to specular roughness. Bring this down. AI normal map. Plug this out value to normal cam. Okay. Then the base color, I'll just drag this out color to base color in here. Then select the roughness map. Raw alpha is luminance. Select this raw alpha is luminance also. That's pretty much it. Select this. I've already tested this out in the render render view before it crashed and it's working perfectly so shouldn't have any issues in here so let's to the AI point okay, good save okay so let's go to the hyper shade hyper shade AI point graph network
graph network okay um let's see color map i don't need the, i don't need the metallic normal map and roughness map so drag and drop this in here so drag this let me select this first and raw alpha is luminance base out base color let's drag drag this in here roughness raw alpha is luminance open this open this up specular roughness select the node the main node then just increase metalness that's all that's pretty much it so this needs to get an ai normal map node in here plug this here plug this here click click save if i go to the anode render i don't know if any of those it's not actually saved. You know, it's actually saved. Don't get my own render view. Okay. Oh, my snapshot gone. Great. Okay, so that's basically it for this. The one last thing I did was to create a new AI dome light. Create a new AI dome light because I wanted to match. I wanted to match the AGRI with this particular render in here. Not to match it with this render. So I want to I want to use the same AGRI from Substance Painter. So to do that, I think I have. This camera set up here so to do that in the new agri we just created put the samples to two then i'm going to bring that in here so let's find that so find node so let me show you how to find it so my computer local dix program files oligon metric substance painter resources shelf geometry environment in serial tomaco studio okay let me do a quick save so that's basically what i did then i selected it add the particular rotation for this so the angle i used for this was for the y-axis two four one two four one was a really good one yeah, that was a really good one okay so we can also turn on this backdrop in here i don't know what i don't know what will happen if i push this very close to this door let's see if we can let's duplicate this hide this to the third one let's just push this a bit close a bit closer to the reference to our model rather than be very close something so you can kind of get some shadowing bouncing off of this so i'll select this backdrop we get something a bit darker like so yeah so we we'll quick save and let me just go back to the camera camera in here let me just kind of get the same almost a similar angle to that of substance painter now bookmark this also let me just name this to sp cam angle okay should be fine so let me save then let me just cancel the render so in the next lesson i'm just going to show you guys the render because i don't want this to crash again and i'm going to do this all over again but you should be fine with this so i'll just go in here and render this out 